Protests continue over budget cuts to public education in North Carolina. News 13's Megan Shearing is streaming live in Hendersonville. And Megan, there was a rally held there this afternoon. There was, Darcel. Folks who came out here say they are mad about cuts to teacher pay and also teacher assistant positions. They feel that legislators are turning their back on students around the state. That ain't okay. It stinks. It was an afternoon rally strategically held outside State Senator Tom Apodaca's district office in Hendersonville. We want to support the teachers, we want to support the kids, and our state legislature does not. And they've proven that they do not want to support public schools by the budget that they passed. He is just one of several legislators folks there say they're unhappy with, especially when it comes to public education. We are now, there's a disputed number here, any tweet, anywhere between 46 and 40 48th among the states in teachers' compensation. I mean, that's very, very sad news. About 75 people dressed in red came out to protest the recent state budget cuts. Class sizes are increasing. The budget allocation for textbooks, technology, and classroom supplies is inadequate. And it wasn't the only event held locally or around the state Monday. In Transylvania County, nearly 150 people gathered outside Brevard High School to vent their frustrations about the hits to education. But it is hugely important to everybody in the state, and the parents need to speak up for that, and the teachers need to feel that they can speak up for that. Senator Apodaca spoke to News 13 by phone about the protests. We get more money in, we're going to take care of it. But, you know, we just came out of the worst recession, uh, second to the uh, depression that's ever been in the United States. And we are getting better, but we haven't totally recovered. He also says it's not just teachers who need raises, but all state employees. But activists say those are just words, and until they see change, they're going to keep fighting. I say to you, rally on, march on, work on, educate on, and say to those that are trying to suppress us that enough is enough, and we shall not be moved. Now, Senator Apodaca is in Raleigh tonight. He uh, is attending an educational meeting tomorrow. He is, serves on a committee there, and he says that the members of that committee's main focus right now is new teacher pay. He says that they are the ones seriously getting hurt in this budget. Reporting live in Hendersonville tonight, Megan Shearing, News 13.